Set up and ready to go to start side dressing corn. Let's take a quick look at the ammonia application. So we've got the same tractor we planted with. Got the ammonia applicator on behind. So what happens is the anhydrous is in there. That's 82% nitrogen fertilizer is where it is. 82% of that is actual fertilizer. So the tank's under pressure. Crack the valve. Goes through that supply hose. There is a breakaway here that given enough force it will pull apart and close up so we don't leak a whole tank of product should they come separated. We run a capstan system which is a little bit different than a lot of anhydrous coolers. So each of these slices goes to a couple of rows. There's these little solenoids down here that they open and close really fast and control the rate and also let me have suction control it kind of works like the planter which is nice it shuts off when it gets to somewhere it's been before I cannot run a different rate on the toolbar it only one, runs one rate across the bar um, I kind of like to be able to run individual rates I think we'd have to switch the liquid to do that and there's um, things you can do that with Started dressing in a field where I did a fair amount of replant. Some pretty good corn right in front of me. And beyond that, where it gets a little darker, that's where it's wetter, and then where I worked up the dirt. A little replanting last week. It's actually all about to pop out of the ground another day or two, so. We're feeding it the nitrogen it's going to need, assuming uh, when it starts raining again tomorrow it doesn't get drowned out. We're hopeful that it won't. We usually have one corn on cornfield every year, and it's usually no till. This year's no different. It's going pretty well. This is actually where I think our low disturbance applicator really shines. Those big, uh, I think, what are they, 22 inch disc openers. They don't have any trouble um, since you're not pulling a knife several inches deep. We're just rolling along a few inches deep. It doesn't hang up on anything, no problems. Another interesting thing is. The corn I'm in in this pass is two weeks older than the corn the next pass over. This is where I got rained out and I had to come back and finish planting this field. And then the next pass over from this at the edge of the field, it's got a full rate of nitrogen pre-plant around the border. So it's bigger and greener. This is bigger and a little less green. And over there, it's just a few inches high. Which one's going to yield better? I don't know. We'll find out. We're not doing everything as we planted this year. So, we'll see what happens. We're making the best of what we got. Things are going pretty well. This is definitely some of the 
bigger stuff I've side dressed in recent memory anyway. This popcorn's been growing really nicely. Some of it's bigger than this, almost up to the frame on the applicator, but going through it just fine. Got to keep a little closer eye on my rows, make sure I don't have a hose come loose or something. So, blocks the vision a little bit, but it's going okay.
ready to go with another tank. And that is actually the last wagon. All I've got to do is run down to the end of this field and back. I won't use a lot. So this wagon will be pretty full yet. But we'll be done. We'll weigh it out and charge us for what we use. Side dress is over.